Hello everybody, welcome to the CCL Season 46 first round match between Dazzle Storm and his Skaven and Raxo and his Dwarves. That's right, isn't it? Nobody is on comms, Volk for Gore. You are of course free to come in and uh, I'll, I'll be for a lad. <laughs> right. Oh, I haven't. I haven't posted the uh, claw card yet. Anyway, right. So what have we got? We've got a Skaven team that doesn't have a wizard. That's giving away a wizard, but it has an edge five move, ten guard sidestep, um, another edge five, and that's pretty much all, really. Um, versus some dwarves with loads of blodge. Oh, this is the blodge dwarves. Yeah, this is the ridiculous TV, which really all the blodge is doing is giving the uh, skaven. Oh, they've got a claw mighty. Okay, I didn't see the claw mighty. To be fair, I didn't see the claw mighty. So they've got a claw mighty and a couple of guards, but uh, there's a lot of mighty blow on the dwarves. A lot of dodge, which isn't doing a whole lot. The bozos. Yep. The Bozars are uh, completely boringly named. It's got Juggernaut instead of Horns. I quite like uh, Horns. That's a double though. It's not an Underworld team. Disregard. Disregard that. It's it's early. Okay, I've just I've just woken up. It's not my fault. <laughs> not my fault. First thing in the morning doing a replay is a bit. Uh, it's a bit weird. Hello, Zaka. Hello, Lemon. <laughs> As I said, Lemon, first thing in the morning, just got out of bed. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> oh, wow, he's rolled some ones. And cast himself. Well, there you go. Post re roll GFI. As some might say, that was pretty. Uh, that was pretty brutal. Was it necessary? Who knows? Easy to say it wasn't after it fails. Oh, and then there's there. There's this one's on the bench. The move ten sprint show feet is on the bench. Yeah, he's, he's got a backup one turner. Uh, lemon. That's why he's got. He's got a benched. <laughs> he's got a benched better one turner. Nabby. Well, not better. Obviously, he's the better one turner if you can get one push, but if they stand firm about it, you might not be able to get Oh, but he's got Juggernaut, so he should almost be guaranteed to get a push on this guy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this one's better, isn't he? Because you're almost guaranteed to get a push on him. Oh, well. The Natty is not cast, but the... Uh not Natty, one turner is not cast, but that guy is. So that's the that's the apple gone already on turn turn one. We've got apple gone on a gutter and another gutter cast out. The dwarves have a bribe, two babes. Interesting, two babes. I would have surely gone an extra apple, seeing as uh, you've got thick skull to counter that, and he's got claws. And I want an apple or something. So I would have definitely gone an extra apple rather than that. And the wizard, of course. <laughs> yes, Volkos, yeah. <laughs> Hello, Ansi. Yes, uh, I agree fully, uh, Johnny Five. Yeah, this Dazzle Storm guy seems absolutely terrible at Blood Bowl. Way worse than Razzle Storm would be. <laughs> and Boomer. I totally forgot Boomer. He's got Boomer on the bench there. Yep. 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 Hello, thick of eggs. Yeah, I did quite well with the Death Roller Dwarves, didn't I? I wouldn't mind doing Death Roller Dwarves again. I wouldn't mind it. There we go, another Kaz. So, pretty good dice from the Dwarves. Skaven not on their usual armor 15. Yeah, it was a 
was. Well, let's let's not go that far, PC. But um, hello, it was certainly it was certainly a decent run, and obviously only lost to Core because of the one turner. Um, just Core had a like edge five natty or something, didn't he? Ridiculous. Got a pom twice, didn't hurt him. Could have made the final. Could have won the final probably. So yeah, they, they got pretty close. The Death Roller Dwarfs. So he's going to leave the uh, the claw stuck here, right? He's putting these hits in to get the hit on him. He's assisting to get the hit on him. So surely, surely the claw is going to remain engaged and take a mighty blow bat back. I don't like any decisions Dazzle made first half. Well, there you go. He got a Kaz. He got a Kaz. And there comes in the only the one apple for Raxo. Which I assume is dirty Raxo, right? I don't know. But one would assume so. The strand firm blodger does not give a shit about an unskilled Lino. Yes, Hammers, yep. But he's got to worry about the ball as well, hasn't he? Like, it's turn four. He's got to protect the ball. It's maybe not as bad as saying out loud would suggest. See, because it's not easy for him, is it? It's not easy for me to, to sort this out, really. Not hitting the cloud might blow, yeah. Greedy, can he? With only two. Very greedy block. <laughs> Which is, worked out well, didn't it? Like, it's not very greedy, but like, I think it's probably the right thing, right? Because you're just going to get pounded there if you don't do it. It's 50 50 to get him down, isn't it? So, it's a decision. Wow. Not getting, not getting a lot of luck <laughs> on these, uh, on these dwarven hits. And now I guess it's lying down after this turn. There's like no scaven left. And they're all they're all gonna be on their ass. <laughs> Pretty much. I just left him manned up. Oh my god, he's standing him up. Boy, howdy. Boy, howdy. Not a huge fan. I mean, I guess he's getting a, a claw mighty hit, maybe. But... So now, surely, surely he'll stay down now with like six players and no gutters. <laughs> but there's a bribe as well. Oh, I guess the bribe as well makes it. So you don't just want to lie down a bit, maybe. Yes, yes, maybe, Razzlestorm, maybe. 
Maybe should have made the call earlier. Especially like with, with the with the edge five one turn run the natty as well. Like he's he's really good, isn't he? Yeah, he's really good, and then he's a natty. So between the two of them, between the two of them, and you're getting a good shot. Classic dwarf bang out. Love to see it. If you're dwarves. <laughs> yes, oh yeah, yes, that's why he's being <laughs> that's why he's being so critical of him. <laughs> and insulting to him. <laughs> But yes, yes, do it, do it in a, do it in third person. <laughs> there you go, scores with the corner. So that looked that looked a bit like how a how a normal crystal hunter drive should go. You know, get loads of hits, cast loads of things, be quite comfortable. Um. <laughs> Go. But that that was probably a bit heavy, wasn't it? To be fair, three cars and two kills. It's gonna be amazing, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hammers <laughs> with a guy's counter. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Fucking Hammers. I don't know why that's so funny, but it is. Get the ref. Ooh, not what the rats want to see. I mean, maybe, right? They could try and get really high roll somehow. But they're more likely to get banged on. So trying to get the uh, the edge six one forward. What? <laughs> oh, it was a pow. It was a pow. All right. I was like, the fuck's this? <laughs> but couldn't you have pushed in there and then and then block this guy? No, this guy. Oh, okay, didn't have the man. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, sorry. I was just baffled as to why he wasn't forward. But obviously, once you can't score, it doesn't matter if he doesn't go forward. I was being dumb. Well, yeah, because you've got the reel for the dodges and that, haven't you? They've got tackle. And he's got a natty. So, I was just laughing at not pushing him forward. I didn't see that he'd been powered. But obviously, Bath is right to get the ball. Oh! Tackle. Tackle actually getting the job done. Unbelievable, Jeff. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, 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 of course. I just thought it was it was a hilarious. I just thought it was a hilarious misclick, but it wasn't. It was just it was just doing the right thing. But that's not as fun, is it? Don't know if there are enough players to like do it so that you could have expected a power on the first hit. Um it depends how many players you had. With these two were out, weren't they? So probably didn't have enough players to uh to be able to get the power and then get the hit in the next one. Yeah, I don't I don't think there would be enough players. Cause that's obviously the dream, isn't it, when there's uh when there's enough men that you can get a power on the first hit and then I think it would have been well it's too late now we're not able to go backwards and forwards in a replay we are stuck watching the game exactly as it, as it happens that will be a mystery that will never be resolved 
<laughs> Until I get a comment on the YouTube saying, yes, he just had to move this guy over here and this guy over here and this guy over there, and then I'll be like, okay. <laughs> yes, J5. Not, nothing's worth thinking about, is it? Especially as you don't even <laughs> care about anything that comes out of my... <laughs> Anything that comes out of my mouth, J5. <laughs> Thought that was a little bit harsh, but there you go. Um, hello, Marzen. Hello, Colonel Fatlad. But yeah, nothing's nothing, nothing's really worth thinking about or caring about, is it, at the end of the day? It's just a stupid little children's game. Story about brown souls. Oh, not much. Okay. Thanks, Johnny Fan. Nicest thing you've ever said. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly, Johnny Five. Uh, Johnny Five, try. Except we're not actually vegetables, are we? We're, uh, we're animals. Oh, sorry, Alp. I didn't. I didn't get the notification. It only. The notification only comes up for massive raids, but thank you. Yeah, fair enough. Fair. I mean, that, yeah, that's fair. Okay, to be fair, to be fair, JFI, that's correct. That is correct. Like about everything, isn't it? Like about pretty much everything. Yep, I do like basing. Um, like they're gonna get the claw mighty hit anyway, right? You can't really stop them getting like claw mighty hits, so you might as well just fucking pile in and try and use your guard and everything to like try and, you know, try and kind of control what hits they can get back. And then if you can start smashing, teeing off on the armor 7, then that's good. But yeah, he didn't really do that, he just gave up punches and got everyone banged down. Three guys not doing anything and a turn you go in is, is not great. And they're not providing a ton of cover. Again, just two people, three people out in the wilderness, right? Yeah. Like, the danger is, of course, if everyone's in, they can run away from you and that, but at the end of the day, they can run away from you anyway, right? They're scaven. So you've just, you've probably got to, like, pile in and max your hit, max your chances of getting hits back. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think that's how you win this match is by maximizing the banding for sure. Also, because you, I mean, you're one nil up, right? So you might stop them scoring, but you one nil up. They haven't they haven't scored the one turn. So at the moment, worst case scenario, you go to overtime, isn't it? And then, so like absolute worst case, you're winning fifty percent of the time if you just bang everybody out. So. Oh, is that the bribe fail? Brutal. Brutal. 
Nice bribe, mate. Where'd you get it? The shit bribe shot. <laughs> Terrible foul. I wouldn't have done that. <laughs> no, it's a fair enough foul to do, isn't it? If if the bribe works, like you're one in, you're about one in eighteen to get sent off, aren't you? So you might as well use it. I might as well use that. Like it's kind of crazy to not use that. The odds are in your favour. Running out of running out of rats here. Again, not not getting these guys in. Like, just put them in, right? Because you've got nobody worth protecting. Like, the, the, claw, the claw mighty can hit whoever he wants, and you can't really stop them. And, like, all of you guys are equally good. Like, the dwarves are the perfect team to, like, mash in like this, aren't they? Whereas, like, if somebody like Chorfs would mash in like that, well, then you can target their one claw, claw pommer and stuff. But So it's harder for them to do it because they want to try to not... They want to try and get hits for their claw pommer, but without exposing him, whereas... If you've exposed one dwarf, you might as well expose them all. It's not really costing anything. <laughs> Needed 10 Gs a month from the turn of blind eye. <laughs> Very good. Not uh, not putting this guy here. Must have been a mis misclick, misread. Okay, saved by a dodge. Phew. <laughs> Now it like makes sense to not base these guys, right? Because you need something to react now. But the first the first four turns when he was half piling in, he should have been all piling in if you ask me. Oof. Eat the dub skull. Problem is, if, you, if you're going to eat that dove skull, then you probably got to stand this guy up first, right? Because with only two rerolls, he should have he should have thought if he's eating dove skulls and then be prepared to roll them. Like it's different when you've got a reroll and you think you kind of don't think about the quad skulls, do you? But I think this is quite reasonable save too for all the time. But like the problem is you're on your fifty percent at best right now, aren't you? Because if the rats win the toss, it's bad times. Gonna get much on him, does it? <sighs> I, th I think he. Well, he's not. How can he use the words? That's the problem. He's not getting in. He's not getting into the mix, is he? He's like. He's probably slight favourite because the Skaven hasn't scored yet. And if he wins the toss, he definitely wins. Well, no, there's a chance of blitz. But if he loses the toss, he's definitely lost. That's the problem. That is the big problem for the dwarves. If you lose, if you lose the toss, you just lose. And then your whiz hasn't done anything, so you probably want to use the whiz this drive. Mm. 
he probably should have got in the mixer more earlier. Yes, red hair. It is. It is Razzle Storm. Nope. Oh, Scold. Scold out. He's keeping his rerolls for the overtime as well. Unfortunately, he kept people in the centre last turn, but not this turn. So, yep, it's not good. <laughs> Some of these guys are a bit shit, so like you're thinking, why didn't he move there? But it's and now it's a du double GFI to get here, which is terrible, isn't it? So like, oh no, he's four. You know. But you know, some of them are move three, aren't they? So some of the some of the moves that have looked a bit odd aren't actually that odd because they move. He's got a few move busts. Nails the move ten gutter. Jim Shard. He goes in on 15. He's got a two-turner to win it. Oh, baby. I wonder if scoring on turn 14 was better then. If you're going to... Because then you've got the chance to steal. But then, it, no, it doesn't matter because you're, you're, it's already 2-1-1. One, one. No, but then he would avoid overtime. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting, Mr. Da Mr. Dazzlestorm. <laughs> oh, I kind of hate the deep setup against the two turn. It's going to be amazing, guys. <laughs> Please don't try to break me, please. It's it's actually insane how funny I find that. Holy shit. Oh wow, what a kick. Like just A removal. Uh, no, kick's a terrible skill. Kick is an absolutely terrible skill. Never, never works when you need it to. Um. <laughs> no, I mean it's okay, right? It's okay. It's better on Skaven because Skaven players are shit, like uh, linemen, right? Skaven linemen are shit, so kick is better on them. Like, but for elves. They get dodged, don't they? And they're arch four and they can do things. Oh, wow, he is putting the reroll to score. Interesting. I would have thought the odds were so low he might not have even tried then. Well, is it though, Red Hair? Is it? Is it though, Red Hair? Yeah, I was surprised he put in the reroll there, to be honest. But then, on the other hand, if you lose the toss, he just loses, right? So he just hundred percent loses if you lose the toss. So who cares about your equity then? <laughs> All Skaven coaches are shit. No, no, no. Skaven, Skaven linemen, Skaven players. Yeah, the, the Skaven linemen, right? Uh, they're edge three, so. They're not they're not amazing players. Give them wrestling, they're done basically. So so they can call wrestling kick nation, pretty good. But like uh, an elf, and like you can even go kick first. It's fine. 
because they're getting so little from normal skills. But, you know, Wood Elf Lyman can go Lodge Step. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> oh, sh should he not have dodged? Should he not have done the dodge and then hit? Was that was that better? Maybe not. Doesn't matter, fails anyway. I don't know which is better. Wow, that was amazing. Holy shit. <laughs> that would have been an epic end to the match, wouldn't it? Yeah, exactly right. Like, it's situationally, obviously, it's amazing. And yes, it's obviously better to have kick than not have kick. But is it better to have kick than to have block in 99% of matches? And that, that's the question, isn't it? Oh, well, the dwarves, the dwarves have won the toss, so they've got a chance. Now, they've got a wizard, and they should have had three rerolls, but they've got two rerolls. They've got two bribes. They've got a wizard. They can, they can win this. It's possible. The brave underdog dwarves can do it. I like how he induced Boomer and just didn't even use him. How oh, awful extreme. Yeah, like that that's the problem, right? It's not that kick isn't good sometimes. It's that you're paying the skill, and and the, and the opportunity cost on a on a Skaven lineman isn't as high as it is for a Wood Elf lineman, and it's all right for thralls as well, right? It's all right for uh, for thralls and vampire teams because they don't really get good skills, and you know vampires can benefit from short kicks and stuff. So. Yeah, yeah, I would have, I would have definitely had it in that ball. Well, he could have just had two apple. Right, how much is boom? Sixty. You could have just had like, an, you could have had an apple anyway. I'd have taken the apple over the two babes anyway, right? because you'd unlikely get KO'd. There are, it is no troll slayers, yeah, no luxury players allowed. Love to see it. Wonderful P. Diddy there. Should he not have put the uh, guard in there and then blitzed him? Or like just blitz with that guy and move him back even, right? I guess this is okay. Yeah, I've taken it on dwarves before. Yeah, yeah, I've taken it on dwarves. I've taken it on a on a mighty blow guard, stand firm, piling on, and then I took it as his fifth skill. <laughs> Give him kick. Way. Sage took an award answer, and I didn't even hate it. Lots of people did. But again, that, that that's that's the exact point, right? It's the it's the uh, it's the opportunity cost of kick is the is the biggest is the biggest thing against it. Like if you've taken Dolphar as your star, you could have taken something else. <laughs> is he the only star with kick? Maybe. Yeah, it was a pretty huge removal. Bang out these guys. Well, I can't bang that one out. But yeah, he's got to not stand firm because otherwise he'd be trapped and not be able to support him for this. This deep kick has actually fucked him pretty hard, hasn't it? So, And the perfect defense. I think liking kick is a bit much, but you can't hate kick. No. 
Well, it's nice to have. It's just you don't want to pick it, right? That's that's it. Like your team is obviously better with kick, and it's like it's it's not as obviously bad as like pass block or whatever. It's just a bit shit. I think that was a bad follow. Maybe, maybe a bad follow there. Takes guard off that square, doesn't it? Takes guard off it. Now I guess he didn't have guard on here either, but or there. But it makes the dodge in easier. On him. Mm. I don't hit anything anymore, J5. Hey, now he's got to reroll that. Not sure what's sticking on me. I guess he can just hit him. Yeah, so it's not that bad. Oh wow, the gut is in. didn't hate it. I just said it was rubbish. I, th I thought it was rubbish and don't understand how anybody could think it was good. don't hate it though. Like hate takes effort, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, he's got to reroll that. Now this is very scary, isn't it? See, this is the thing. Like, while while multiple rerolls in a turn makes like ball sacks from edge teams better, it also makes like situations like this not as scary for the bash teams, doesn't it? Um, no, Steve, because I would never take Norse. But <laughs> if you know somebody, somebody. Uh, Somebody was being held hostage and I was forced to use Norse, then yes. I want to find everyone who plays no, Norse yeah. in real life. Because I didn't care. It's like a music video. Fucking life. It's just like a music video. I didn't care about any of it. It's just like... Here's some people. Things are happening. I don't... I just don't care. Idiot Dazzle. What a fool. I did like the bait meme. Yeah, I do like the bait meme. I'll, I'll, I'll give it that. Oh, here we go. Rerolls in. Get to the pow. Oh, catches the scatter. Disgusterous. No, I, I, I've I've pretty much always hated Norse. I've I've pretty much always hated Norse. Um, because it's just like I just kind of hate that they're they're built around having to dice your opponent. I just think it's kind of stupid. Like they just literally, I hope I dice you. We're a bash team with Army Seven. Like it's just it's just dumb. I hate kind of how dumb they are. Like, I hate... Well, no, I don't hate... Oh, God. You tricked me. You tricked me, Steve. I don't hate them. But I dislike... <laughs> uh, you know, like, the game design of, of their Armour 7 and their Bastion. Whereas, at least, like, you know, Amazons, they're stupid. They do things. And they're really powerful. And then Skaven, you know, a dice dice lord team, aren't they? And they do annoying things. And lizards are frustrating because everyone's strong. Dwarves are frustrating because you don't get any SPPs against them. So there's like there's a bunch of frustrating teams. But it's like that the Norse game plan is just dumb. That's what I don't like about Norse. <laughs> That's the main thing that I don't like about Norse is just how kind of dumb. 
Oh my god, all of these dodges through tackle. Holy moly. Holy moly. Wow. <laughs> wow. That is unbelievable. Well, there you go. Yikes. G flipping G. What an absolute scene. That was ridiculous. That was a lot of dodges, wasn't it? On twos. On twos. Edge six, wasn't he? There was tackle, wasn't there? There was tackle. There was tackle there. It's going to be amazing, guys. Oh, dear. Yep. Yeah, but, um. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Only two through tackle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was tackle there, though. Yeah. I saw there was tackle there. Um. Well, there you go. That was. That was a game. <laughs> yes, dog to the dog. Yep. Yes, it is. Oh dear. Right. I'm really. I'm trying not to just like piss myself laughing every time. It's it's difficult. Trying trying to make myself uh, immune to it. Right. So there you go. Congratulations, Dazzle Razzle, and uh, commiserations. Probably Dirty Racks. All right. Probably. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.